G'day everyone, it's Mark Hunt back here on the channel, here today for the Australian use of the word Oi. In Australia, certain words can have many variations and uses. And a classic example of this is Oi. Oi is a word we either use as hi or to get someone's attention. And as you're about to see, depending on its context and delivery, Oi can mean a whole bunch of things. The my man Oi. Oi mate, I just won the bloody lottery. Oh ho oi. What you used to greet a mate who's just achieved something or done something really cool. Then there's the angry Oi. You're a dickhead, Jono. Oi. Pretty much, if someone's giving you an earful and they've said something to piss you off, it's the one you used to check them on that. The I've a bone to pick with you, oi. Oi. Yeah. Did you bog me later knowing the mud flats? The I've a bone to pick with you, oi, is commonly used by parents in rural areas. It pretty much lets you know that you've misbehaved. The watch where you're going, oi. Oi. Hey. Yeah, cheers, Jono. It's a great way to get people to watch where they're walking, so to make sure they don't trip over anything on the ground or bump their head as they're about to walk into something. The good on you, oi, is a celebratory oi. Oi, mate. Guess you just scored a free palmy. Oi. If you're just landing a new hotshot job, you probably get the my man oi. But for slightly less serious achievements, the good on you, oi, would have a spot-on application. Then there is the greetings, oi. 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 Basically an informal way of saying hello, and again, it's a lot more prominent in rural areas than it is for city slickers. The that hurt, oi. Oh, oi. Ah. ah, why didn't you warn me? Is, of course, used to let someone know that you're hurt, more on the physical side of pain. The shut up, oi, is generally delivered under your breath. Dude, where's me Lando? Oi. And it has a habit in Australia of being effectively useful at making people quiet. You'll probably see this one used by Aussie mums on their kids. A lot. And that's all the oi's. You'll notice that it's the length and pitch of an oi that really defines its meaning. The context narrows it down, but delivering it is what really counts. So listen for that, learn what they mean, and it'll be no worries. Thanks for having me, I'm your Aussie expert Mark Hunt. Catch us in the next one. Hooroo.